What's up YouTube? Hope everybody's enjoying their summer. Let's start our summer's DIY with some room slash wall decor. The first DIY, I started with the wooden plaque that I got from Walmart for just like $3. I started by painting the sides of the plaque to, get, to give it a frame effect. I used black paint for this. This DIY is a two part, so there's a second part to this. This first part, we're just gonna be concentrating on the initials and then the second part will put the name or nickname or whatever design you want. When I'm done with the frame painting, I chose to paint the center white or a lighter color if you want. So when we put our initials down on it, they'll look good and the, the color will show. Now to the best part, the letters. I use two wooden letter R's and what I'm going to do is paint them to this metallic silver paint by Folk Art. I gave it a couple of coats with a couple minutes drying time in between. Then I went ahead and placed the letters in the center of the plaque so I could see what position I would like them to be. Once I've had that position that I want, I used a hot glue gun to secure them in place. Now for the second part of this, I'm using this little black chalkboard sign. I placed a stencil cutout of my YouTube name and taped it securely on the center. I then used a sponge brush and a blue paint on it. Now you can use chalk paint or chalks or even a paint marker to freehand your design to give it a little of your own style. So once that's dried, I taped around the name using painter's tape to give it a sharp line or border around the name. I used white paint, sponge brush also to give the texture that I want. And there you go, a very easy, very simple name initials for your wall or for your room. Now for the next DIYs, you'll need three canvas. You can choose three different size canvas, but I chose to use three of the same size. On the first canvas, I started by painting it black. Then with a stencil that I printed out, I taped it on a bit off center of the canvas. Then I started by using a sponge brush, pounced it in the heart using purple and then pink and then yellow, making it ombre effect or sunset effect. Once that was done, I went to the bottom part of the canvas below the stencil and I used, I painted it blue with a little bit of purple. This part will represent the ocean. And then the center part of that, I used a little bit of pink, red, orange, and yellow using a little swiping motion to give the effect that the sun and the sun is shining on top of the ocean. And now for the now for the top part of the canvas, I used blue and purple and I used some shades of pink, orange, and yellow that will represent the sky. The pink, orange, and yellow, I used it to give the effect that the sun is shining on the skies. And that's it. Now for the next two canvases, I painted one blue and while it was drying, I painted the other canvas orangey red. I chose two stencils. One stencil was a stencil of an island 
and the other was a stencil of one of California's city. I started with the city and I used a sponge brush to blot or pounce the black paint around the stencil. I did the same thing with both stencils. I continued doing the pouncing technique until I was satisfied with the size of the black fading effect around the stencil. On the very edge, I made it look like it was fading, the shadowy effect was fading, and I ended up doing some lightheaded swiping motion on the edge. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoy the, these very easy summer decor ideas. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching.